before I get into the opportunities for non-fuel cell companies, I'd like to talk about a little bit what makes us unique. We're pursuing a solid oxide fuel cell. Okay, so you guys all sat through the 101 lectures, so you're fairly familiar with the different fuel cell technologies. What makes us unique is it's a ceramic fuel cell. You put air on one side, you put fuel on the other. In our case, we use things like butane and propane and you know, things you can buy at a hardware store, readily available fuels. And what comes out is electricity. And what makes our company unique is we make our solid oxide fuel cells out of these tiny little tubes. The raw materials are inexpensive, and because they're small tubes, we get all sorts of advantages for how fast we can start up and how rugged they are and all these other great things. But you know what? That's not why I'm here to talk today. And what usually gets lost in a lot of these fuel cell conferences and presentations is, yeah, that's a fuel cell, but what you need to sell to the customer is a fuel cell system. That'd be like selling a customer an engine and telling them it's a car. It's not. So this is what I'd like to talk about. If you could flip, please. So what are some of the fuel cell opportunities? Well, first, while we're not a publicly traded company, I need to put a disclaimer up here. We've got a chicken and the egg phenomenon going on, right? Costs are too high for large volumes, but volumes are too low for low cost. So what are we going to do? Well, you've got to find some niche markets in there, and you've got to develop and grow your company and your product. Um, we're stuck in a quandary right now. Basically, we develop or we adapt what we have to, and we make and fabricate only what we have to. It's kind of a difficult situation, right? We buy what we can off the shelf, but a lot of times we're stuck having to make our own thing because of what we do and why it's so different. 